Hello friends, welcome back to Endo Tales from Life. In this video, we're going to see a simplified and modern way of working length determination with the newer Endo motors with integrated apex locator function. And we're also going to show you how you can integrate your apex locator and Endo motor even if they do not have this integrated function. So let's see the demonstration. So beyond, beyond two decades, it's been clearly proven now that the working length is not at the radiographic apex and all our endodontic procedures have to be limited to the apical constriction. This is because the pulp tissue biologically ends at this particular point which is the apical constriction or which is the narrowest portion of the root canal. And we have been practicing endo by arbitrarily or tentatively keeping the working length closer to the radiographic apex but the radiographic apex or even keeping it 0.5 one of them radio, short of the radiographic apex may not be the right way of respecting the working length biologically. So the right way of determining where exactly this pulp tissue ends or the apical constriction is located is mainly by the advent of apex locators. So apex locators are simple electronic device basically that they have two electrodes and one electrode is the lip clip which is attached to the patient's lip whereas the other one is the file holder which has been traditionally used with K files where we attach that to the K file and by slowly moving it inside the root canal we see the visual display on the apex locator which was used for determining the working length. Now the newer and simplified method is much more easier and time saving than this because we don't need a separate working length determination step with K files. Yes, we all know that uh, there is a popular a shift towards rotary glide path from manual glide path and we are slowly getting rid of the hand K files. So this has also made working length control much easier with the modern endomotors having an integrated apex locator function. So there are numerous brands that are hitting the market now and soon you will see a uh, few other brands, even the popular brands that you all may be having already will also be launching the endomotors with this integrated apex locator function. So what do I really mean by this integrated apex locator function? With these kind of endomotors, you don't need the lip clip at all. All you need is to just attach the lip clip to your endomotor and place the lip clip in the patient's mouth. And then you attach your endomotor with the rotary file that you're going to work with. And when you start working, the apex locator is in function in real time with both the visual and the sounds that the apex locator is going to give you. You're pretty much in control of your working length throughout. I can say this is a dynamic working length determination method compared to uh, the static way of determining the working length once and then sticking to that particular particular working length with your rotary files. Here you don't even need to note down your working length. Instead you can just go on with the different file system, I mean the different file sequence and all the files when you are working in the root canal, the endomotor is al always integrated in real time with the apex locator. So some of these endomotors are very modern, they do not have any attachments to the head. The head of the handpiece itself is acting as one of the electrode and whereas some other endomotors uh, have this type of attachment to make the integration possible. But newer motors, newer endomotors almost got rid of this extra attachment also. So life is becoming easier now. So with both these types of endomotors you can uh, they have the integrated mode where both the rotary files are working and also the apex locator are functioning. So now before we end this video uh, there may be people who are watching this might be thinking I have an endomotor older type endomotor and I have an apex locator separately and how do I now integrate this function as I do not have an integrated endomotor well. 
The good news is you can still integrate it with a very simple way. Uh, the Apex Locator's lip clip is placed in the patient's lip, whereas the file holder is now attached to the rotary file that is placed in the endomotor. So now as you can see, a separate endomotor and a separate Apex Locator can also be integrated by using this simple method so that you are very much in control of your working length and you are also more accurate towards the biological working length than arbitrarily or tentatively following the older methods of radiographic methods of determining working length. Thank you so much. We'll be coming up with more interesting videos shortly.